Have you ever wondered what goes on in the kitchen of your favorite restaurant? How do they prepare all that delicious food? Well, there is no need to wonder at the House of Japan. They bring the chef and the cooking right to your table. It's an amazing experience, one the entire family will surely enjoy from start to finish. So I have Jack Chung, part of the family that brought House of Japan to Central Ohio 18 years ago. So Jack, it is great to have you here. Hey, thanks. I Thanks for being here. You know, the good thing about uh, the Consumer's Choice Award, and you guys have won after nearly two decades in the business, is that this is something that the consumers vote on. So how does this make you guys feel as a restaurant? Well, it feels great. We've won other local awards, but nothing like the Consumer Choice Award. It's nothing like the consumer that comes to our restaurant and says, hey, you're the best, you know, that's right. that's awesome. Yeah, we love it. OK, yeah. so if a, I was a first time customer, I'm coming into the house of Japan. Mm -hmm. How would you just describe your restaurant to me? What okay. is the atmosphere? Well, we're a Japanese steakhouse where we cook right in front of the customers. Everybody all sits around a grill, so everybody gets a front row seat. And we try to combine entertainment and fine dining all into one. So when you come to our restaurant, you're sitting at the grill. The chef will come out. He'll do his forks, spatula show, throw things around, do all that stuff, and then he'll take the uh, uh, he'll light the grill on fire, set things on fire, throw <laughs> eggs with a spatula, throw a juggle around, make volcanoes. They just take onions and stack them up. Fire spewing out of it. Sometimes lava, depending on what they do and many other stuff that you guys would have to come to the restaurant to see. Yeah, and you know, we're looking at some of the video of it, but I, what I love is that it is an experience that the whole family can come and enjoy. It's not something where you say, leave the kids at home, this is a right. night out. This is like a cool thing that they're gonna really be excited about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are actually, we're great for families. You know, if you just wanna come out for two people, come out, just have fun. Yeah. You know, we got we got sushi bar if you're adventurous. We got we have full bar. It is a fine dining restaurant also. And if you're coming out, you have kids. Those kids are awesome. You know. <laughs> but every time we go out to dine with them, they seem to be, you know, like at least my family, they always ask, like, hey, can I borrow your phone, Dad? Right, they're bored, right? right? But when you come to our restaurant, they're, you know, as soon as you walk into our restaurant, there's a glass bridge, they're walking underneath, you know, fishes, and they all, they all go wow over that. <laughs> And I then they it. sit down, they talk to the chef, they interact with the chef, like the chef is throwing things around, shrimp tail is flying, and they're all engaged, so they're less likely to use their phone. But if they want to, you know, Facebook tweet or hashtag House of Japan, please let them borrow the phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a really but great yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, but we're also great for, you know, birthday kids, kids' birthdays. They love coming to our restaurant, special occasions. You know, we have the birthday pineapple, we bring it out. It's, it's a pineapple, we deck it with sparklers, umbrellas, all that stuff. And then uh, sing a happy birthday song, take a photo, we'll print out the photo, and you get a card with it. It's kind of like a 3D thing. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and you train your chefs. You were telling me you kind of mm -hmm. train them with three tricks usually at the beginning when they walk in, right? Yes, yeah, so at the beginning, we kind of like test them out and see what they can do. Um, when we went through the whole training process, it probably takes at least two months to train a chef. Okay. A month to make sure they know how to cook. Because, you know, if they can't cook, everybody <laughs> don't like the food, we're going to get complaints. Exactly. And they need the to be second good. part is definitely the, the tricks. And basic stuff is just when yeah, they first gonna come in. Yeah, I'm going to let you, yeah, do these. Yes. But uh, when they first come in, we just have them do uh, like three things. First thing is just get used to a fork and a spatula where they're just throwing this around. Okay. okay. And then second thing, we'll have them try is something like this, call it dinner bell. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, you know, we'll try to add in a little bit more complicated stuff, like throwing the spatula up in the air, something like that. So when you come to House of Japan, if we combine everything together, it should look something similar to this. We start ringing the dinner bell.
like this. Oh, just something like simple like that, Jack. Yes. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes. That was really cool. <laughs> All right, again, it is House of Japan. You guys have two locations, right? You're in Polaris. Yes. You're also in Dublin. Mm -hmm. Do people need to make reservations? Do you recommend that? Yes, reservation is definitely suggested, especially on the weekends. Everybody loves coming out on the weekend. Uh, we, you can make a reservation through our phone or open table, so it's very convenient. All right, yep. perfect, Jack. I want to thank you so much for hey, being thank here. You. I'm glad one of those wasn't a knife. I just want to say <laughs> that. Okay. We're not insured for that. <laughs> <laughs> All At right. least not here.